Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. 1. Choose the correct words to complete the sentences. 1. Have you finished cleaning your room yet? 2. I forgot to bring my calculator to school. 3. Basil offered to help me with my homework. 4. Egyptian cotton clothes are sold all over the world. 5. The environment is the natural world around us. 6. I have a new app on my smartphone which helps me practice foreign languages. 7. A person who writes poetry is called a poet. 8. A novel is a long written story. To fill in the gaps with one word. I am always careful when I do my shopping online. I use a different password for each site, and my passwords are usually quite complicated. This is because I had a bad experience once when I was buying a pair of shoes online. I got a strange email from the website and I didn't know what to do with it. In the end, I opened the email and my computer turned off and on again. Some criminals started attacking my computer. Three. Translate the following into Arabic. One. The Internet of Things (IoT) is developing very fast in a lot of fields. Two. I'm going to buy some new clothes for the party next weekend. 4. Translate the following into English. I had to rewrite the English homework because I had answered a question in a wrong way. Wrongly. 2. The new hotel will use environmentally safe materials. 5. Read the text and answer the questions. Tourist or traveler? Some people say that a tourist visits the sites, but a traveler talks to the local people. This is because different people want different experiences when they go on holiday. Some tourists prefer food which is familiar to them and so they often look for famous fast food restaurants, or food from their own country. They want to see the famous museums, monuments and beaches and they will usually speak in their own language when they go abroad. On the other hand, travelers will usually learn a few phrases in the local language, and they want to eat in typical cafes and restaurants. Sometimes they will look for places to visit that are less famous because they enjoy finding something a little different. Today both travelers and tourists are learning about their impact on the environment. It seems that whatever type of traveler you are, it's always good to respect the places you visit so that other people can enjoy them, too. 1. Why do travelers go to foreign countries? b. To meet new people. 2. Tourists do not usually. b. Go to local restaurants. 3. Travelers try to a. Speak the local language. 4. These days tourists and travelers both. b. Reduce their impact on the environment. 5. What type of damage can tourism cause? Why is it important not to damage the places we visit? Tourists can damage historic places, it is important not to damage them because they are very valuable slash they represent the heritage of the country. 6. Which type of visitor do you think you are most similar to? Why? I think you are most similar to a traveler. I will look for places to visit that are less famous because I enjoy finding something a little different. 7. Do you think that traveling to different countries changes how you see the world? Why? Why not? Choose one of the two topics. Write about 150 words on the topic. 1. Write a summary of a story you read and enjoyed. Robinson Crusoe, as a young wanderer, went to sea. Crusoe met with bad luck and was taken prisoner but he could escape after two years. 
After surviving a storm, Trousseau and the others were shipwrecked. He was thrown upon shore only to discover that he was the sole survivor. Crusoe made immediate plans for food, and then shelter, to protect himself from wild animals. He brought as many things as possible from the wrecked ship, things that would be useful later to him. In addition, he began to develop talents that he had never used in order to provide himself with necessities. As time passed, Crusoe became a skilled craftsman, able to construct many useful things and thus furnished himself with diverse comforts. He also learned about farming, as a result of some seeds which he brought with him. Crusoe saved a man, named him Friday, and taught him English. Friday soon became Crusoe's friend. Crusoe and Friday rescued the captain and two other men. The grateful captain gave Crusoe many gifts and took him and Friday back to England. Crusoe married and had three children. Finally, he visited his old island. One choose the correct words to complete the sentences. 1. Do your parents usually donate blood? Yes, they always do so. 2. When Aya visited me I was decorating my room. So, she offered to help me. 3. I remember seeing that young man last summer when I was in Sharm el Sheikh. 4. Sadly, my uncle has been ill since he was a young man. 5. The tennis player is admired for doing a lot of voluntary work. 6. The Galapagos Islands in Ecuador are famous for the unique animals such as the turtles which live there. 7. The police accused the young man of stealing the money. 8. It is taken for granted that bullying is a bad behavior which we all must change. Two, Fill in the gaps with one word. Last year, we learned about pollution at school, so in the summer I decided to go on a volunteering holiday with my friends. We had to clean the beaches along the North Coast. There was a lot of plastic rubbish like water bottles and plates in the sand. We worked in teams, and each team cleaned a different part of the beach. We were careful not to damage any shells or wildlife. 3. Translate the following into Arabic. Part of the beach. We were careful not to damage any shells or wildlife. 1. I remember playing that card game when I was a child. 2. Which do you prefer, reading a poem or a short story? 4. Translate the following into English. Robert Stevenson was born in Scotland in 1850 and died when he was 44. I have just finished having, eating lunch and I will phone you within 10 minutes. 5. Read the text and answer the questions. Mary Shelley. In 2018, it was 200 years since the publication of the Gothic novel Frankenstein, or the modern Prometheus. It was written by Mary Shelley, who was born in London in 1797. She was the daughter of the famous writer, Mary Wollstonecraft, and the philosopher, William Godwin. Mary didn't go to school, but she educated herself using her father's library at home. In 1812, Mary met the poet, Percy by Shelley, and in 1816, they married each other in France. Then, in 1817, Mary wrote a travel book about the journey she took with Shelley to France and Switzerland. After her husband's death in 1822, Mary returned to England and she continued to write novels. Many people think that The Last Man, 1826, is her best book, but Frankenstein is Mary Shelley's most famous novel. It tells the story of what happens when a scientist creates a human being.
There have been many different films about the story. Some of them are frightening but others are comedies. One when was the first publication of Frankenstein? B1818. Two Mary Shelley was born in London and became a writer. Three Mary Shelley's most famous book is Frankenstein. Four Frankenstein is a gothic novel. Five Mary Shelley didn't go to school. Do you think it is easier or more difficult to educate yourself? Today? Why? 6. Why do you think so many film versions of Frankenstein have been made? Because it was a very famous novel. Or, because it is a gothic novel. 7. What kind of stories frighten you? Why do they frighten you? Gothic stories because they are about frightening things that happen in Mysterious old buildings and lonely places. Choose one of the two topics. Write about 150 words on the topic. 1. Write about a website that you think is useful for schoolwork. Explain what information is on the site and why it is useful for students. The Egyptian Knowledge Bank, EKB is an online library archive and resource that provides access to learning resources and tools for educators, researchers, students, and the general public of Egypt. The Egyptian Education and Scientific Research Council signed agreements with over 26 regional and international publishing houses to be included in the Egyptian Knowledge Bank. The Egyptian Knowledge Bank will help consolidate the cultural exchange among the Arab nations, as well as help the growth of partnerships based on knowledge and culture. The project is part of a larger goal of education reform in Egypt, with plans to increase investment in research and higher education sectors and is focused at supplementing the curriculum of schools and universities. In addition, Access is free for all Egyptian citizens. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel.